<laughs> Hello, everybody. It's three o'clock, so it's time to check in with the Ecologic Studio. Um, today, I am at the sewing machine. I thought it would be fun for you to see um, what this is all about. Uh, I have been working on our spring cuffs. I have some amazing, amazing spring colors coming up. So um, I have been working on these and also we have some incredible colors coming in our neck scarf. I have actually the neck scarf in my hair today with a little tie in the back. Um, and oh my goodness, it is keeping me warm. Um, I know it's funny, you know, we, we used to hear our mothers say, you know, wear a hat, it, it keeps your heat in. And how many of us listened to that? Uh, I certainly know that I didn't listen so well to that, but as a designer that makes cashmere and specializes in hats, I know this to be true. Um, hats are incredible. They do cap the heat in, and our cashmere hats, especially in this snowstorm, we had six inches uh, yesterday, so we had like beautiful white fluffy snow everywhere, and um, it was so much fun coming home and hanging up my hats and my um, ecologic mittens, and just seeing how the, the snow had melted and melted into little raindrops on that surface of the hat, but it didn't penetrate in, so I was incredibly dry and toasty warm um, for a cold winter's day my hat did an amazing job of protecting me out in the elements um, so yes cashmere has incredible properties I've known many people that have also uh, worn our cashmere hats during chemo um, Cashmere acts like your natural, like, like hair, it is hair. And so if you get sick with a cold, sleep in your hat. That is the tip that I have for you today. Don't think that it's only for outside. Um, if you are cold in the house, pop it on. It's gonna make a huge difference. And that's also where things like um, the neck scarf that I have designed that you can also wear in your hair, um, and the cuffs come in, especially as we're getting into the, um, you know, spring winter weather. Um, I intend on wearing cashmere for the next six months, definitely, um, on hikes in my garden, in my house, when I'm uh, freezing uh, on the computer. Um, so it's there my, my work is really designed to be worn like that so i hope you are you know using it to all its possibilities and i'm here to encourage you to do just that um i'm going to show you these pieces that i made today oh hi Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad, Joanne, you've been doing that. It's funny because uh, I have a dear friend that is a Tibetan Buddhist monk, and that was one of the sort of bits of information that he passed to me is like, Kathleen, you know, when you go to sleep at night, it's really uh, great for your body to sleep in your hat. So um, there are so many reasons to sleep in a hat and to use your cashmere uh, to keep you healthy. Um, Anyway, I wanna show you these pieces that I just finished this morning. You can see we're doing really, really fun spring colors. These are our little cuffs. It's gonna take me a while to get them um, on the uh, website just because we have to photograph. So if there's a color that you'd like that you see on a live, then you can just like um, email and say, show me what you've made and I can send a little photo um, from the phone to you. And if you notice, these are two-tone. You know, one of the activities that we do this time of year is purging. And uh, what that is, is it's our form of, you know, thrice and, you know, recycling. Uh, we go through all of our scrap waste to find out um, which designs we can make. Uh, and we specialize in making, you know, these wonderful little uh, cashmere cuffs for the spring. These are very different than our mittens. Um, these are actually regular cashmere. So it's not the super thick cashmere that you know um, in our onion hats and then in our mittens. Uh, these are a lighter weight, but I have to tell you, like I'm starting to break out in a little bit of sweat because they're warm, 
they're so warm. Um, another fun thing that I love to do, um, if you put cashmere on your pulse points, and pulse points, I mean like your neck here, which is what our scarf can do for you, and then also um, our wrists, I sometimes just stick my hand right through. You can tuck that little thumb back in if you want. Um, and I'll just, like, I never lose my cuffs or my mittens because that's that's my secret. I just do this to them. Um, so just a little tidbit on wearing. Uh, I was actually, I have this bit, nice tray here next to me that is waiting to be stitched at the machine. Let me see if I can get this tripod in here so you can stitch with me. Uh, let's see, am I doing, oh yes, I got it. So um, just to show you how this all comes together. And, and then I'm gonna walk in the studio and show you um, also, uh, <clears throat> what clothing we have been working on this week. So you can see I, I'm watching my marks and uh, I know which way I'm going to sew all of these pieces. So here we go. I probably should turn on this machine. Oh, it was already on, okay. So it's been a really nice morning this morning, just uh, working away on these pieces. They get stitched on the serger and stitched on the straight stitch and then back to the serger again and they get a marrow stitch in between. So um, there's a lot of little details, even in the small pieces that we create. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun. I, I, find, I find sewing at the machine is, is incredibly meditative. Um, I don't do it as often anymore because I have wonderful help uh, studio assistants, um, master seamstresses, and uh, designers that work here with me. You, you know them, uh, Grayson and uh, Victoria, and then Sarah comes and, and helps cut. So um, it's just so much fun to share all of these techniques and, and do this work um, together. I'm just going to get this one little piece on here, and then I'm going to take you to the other tables. Uh, right now, this week, we actually made some cocoa sweaters. A uh, customer of mine, uh, Liz Austin, she has inspired us to make a few more cocos. I did some blue ones, um, and we have filled out the sizing on the red and the purple. And I'm going to take you over there. Oh, you know, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of these, uh, if I can find them. Oh, well, I'm going to show you this way because um, Victoria is cutting up the new neck scarves you can see here. Um, everything in the studio is hand cut and marked, uh, so it's a real labor of love. Um, but we, we have some incredible colors coming. We've been inspired, so... Um, let me show you how sweaters begin. Uh, when we begin conceptualizing these sweaters, um, we begin blocking out how the colors are going to relate and where we're going to place the patterns. The fun thing about recycling is nothing here is guaranteed. We could get in the middle of a project and it doesn't work. So we have to be super creative every day. This is one of the reasons why I love what we do because um, that type of creativity really thrills me. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you. This is the uh, Coco sweater right here. And so we've pulled those out for inspiration. And, and there's, there's one on the other side of the room there, uh, too. So um, now we have planned the next series. Uh, they're going to be so much be more beautiful when they actually get cut and constructed. I'll show you that probably next Wednesday. Um, but these are just gorgeous. There's three here and two on that tray. Um, so it's going to be a series of each size. We're gonna have extra small uh, through large and I think actually through extra large in the navy. And then we filled in the sizing on the red and the blue. Anyway, it, I hope you guys have had a great week and enjoyed the snow. Um, we've, we've just had, it's been so much fun playing with the dogs outside and uh, getting acclimated to the dead of winter. 
and thinking, starting to think about Valentine's and gift giving and Galentine's Day. I love that concept. I don't know if you guys have heard about that concept, but um, Galentine's is when, you know, um, women can appreciate each other. So it's just for friends and bringing a little card or a flower or a small gift to uh, one of the women in your life that... Um, makes a difference for you. So that's a really cool tradition that I just learned about through my friend, Carla uh, Goodian, um, from Carla Goodian uh, Designs. And she is just, um, just an awesome friend. She's actually one of the Art Party Central founders. I'm going to be on Art Party on Saturday as one of the featured artists. Uh, if you guys have not seen that, you should come. You know, this was started by... Uh, my friends uh, and myself and we came together to figure out how we can help each other and help other artists at the same time and so we started Art Party Central so if you see something about that please sign up come hang out for an evening it's absolutely free it's all about supporting creative makers and oh thank you I'm so glad you are enjoying your new hat Doreen and thank you so much for coming here today with me um, I'm so happy to hear that oh and thanks for the the shout out about art party i'm gonna see all of my um lovely co-founder friends in in the next uh, few minutes because i'm gonna jump off here and jump on a meeting so we can prepare for this week's party there's a party on thursday night which is going to be fabulous and again on saturday i will remember next week to have the roster of artists so i can actually tell you who's going to be there um but i i tell you i learn something every Every time I'm there and I just enjoy so much being a part of it. All right, my 15 minutes is up. I thank you for joining me and being with me this week. Um, lots of love to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and I hope to see you on Art Party and definitely here next Wednesday live from the studio. Bye you guys.